Okay, so I don't know what I'm going to talk about today in this video, but we're going to definitely talk about something. Let's get started. Uh, this is the butt <laughs> of Bob. You can see. I'm so sorry. Okay, sorry for interrupting you. Um, yeah, I just, I mean, I've been thinking about this a lot. It, this is episode 55. I started episode one. I don't know, back the, back to last year of what date i can't even remember the other day i was watching my first video i definitely cringed a lot i i just felt awkward and, and i can tell uh i was nervous and i was so fake trying to be like hey everyone how did you doing? And definitely not natural there and it was very funny to notice how i improved and how much i have improved from episode one to episode 53 and the funny thing is People tend to forget. I mean, of course, some of you might just just follow me or just found me and then think, oh, okay, I'm watching her video to learn English. But the funny thing is I started this video for myself to learn English because I'm trying to improve my speaking. And I mentioned this so many times that how I want to speak more naturally and fluently rather than... Mm, focused on accent i mean i used to be very obsessed with the accent and feel like uh, well that's because i'm trauma i was traumatized okay um i had uh students i had parents who said that i don't want a chinese teacher in my in, in my kids class or something like that not because my accent was so terrible back then just because how i look then i had to put extra effort to 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 make people think that i am just good you know not even excellent and that is why i was so obsessed with the accent because i wanted to uh to be like this so when i speak english people would think oh oh wow like 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 this so i want that wow moment and i was so obsessed for that so many years to the point i if somebody says something about my accent oh yeah you still have a chinese accent there and i will get super offended but now especially after i've done so many episodes here and i feel like i don't really care about that anymore and people talk about my accent i am actually really happy because that's a part of my identity and i can't i can't kind of you know integrate that part of my identity into another language which makes me very proud because i am i am who i am right i can't change that part and then that that, that part doesn't mean my my language is not good i'm still able to use that very very fluently and then to the point my focus has shifted from practicing my accent to practicing how to talk effectively and naturally and uh and fluently uh i think probably like halfway through i i my goal has shifted from there to here and that is really interesting because when i was very obsessed with the accent i i was not confident at all about my language about everything because every time when people say something or comment on my speaking i will i mean i felt offended but that's also a sign of me feeling very insecure about my language my 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 accent and also it's a sign of me not feeling confident and i don't know even why right but then after that i uh not only not only did i get support from you guys but also uh encouraged by your guys too it's it's very it's hard to describe that kind of feeling it's like somebody acknowledges your ability and accomplishment and then you 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 get inspired by that you get encouraged by that and then you want to do more and you're doing better and then you get more compliments and then you're doing even better and it's it's a very interesting thing and especially when you can see your improvement see your growth so uh that is very funny halfway through and i realized that uh accent is important pronunciation of course is very important because that will affect your intelligibility and comprehensibility but it is about your content uh i i think i think about like 15 episodes there um when I chatted with other people, I was okay, but I still felt a little bit nervous because I wasn't sure 
、uh, how to start a topic that I was not familiar with, and then that's when I started to change to different topics because I want to challenge myself. And that is the funny thing that、uh, one comment I got saying that your content has got more abstract and difficult to understand.、Uh, I. I I don't know when I saw the comment I kind of lived, had that moment like、mm, I want to kind of fight back but then then I feel like okay I need to calm down and then respond to the message saying or it could be that my speaking has improved a lot and I was so proud of my comment there、uh, just because I did feel that way、um, as. If you have been following me for for a while, you definitely notice that my topic has been from very simple to some sort of more complicated, and then you can tell sometimes I was pretty smooth、uh, at those topics, but sometimes I was not. That's because it is it is a challenge, right? I want to do something different so I can keep keep doing this, and when it's when it's below your level, and then you will get bored of it. Right, and it, when it's too difficult, then you will get discouraged. That's how we learn this kind of thing. And for me, I want to do something that will challenge myself, but not too difficult. And that's why I started to do different kind of topics in psychology or other kind of things. And I started to do book reviews because, well, that's apparently very. Difficult because you have to read first and remember, and then have your own thoughts. How will you? How could you share your opinions and thoughts and recommendation with with your friends? Right, that is something I started doing that, and I really liked it. And I think I'm getting better because now I read more. <laughs> See, one thing will help with another. With the other, the other, yes. So that is something.、Uh, I I found that I have improved a lot, and another comment that really really inspired me and got got me at some point emotional. He said, uh, "Uh, you're not doing this for money.、Uh, do whatever you want." I'm like, "I friend, hi friend, there. I don't really know you, but I kind of feel like I know you. But thank you so much for the comment. Uh." I am a I am a learner in many ways. So I'm learning how to do videos, how to editing. I'm learning how to improve myself while、uh, sharing my thoughts with other people. And I don't want to be that kind of person. I I only care about myself and and trying to do whatever I like. Of course, this is what I want to do. But also, I want to feel like I'm not alone. That I have a group of friends who also feel the same way and who also are interested in this topic. So we can. We can talk about that, share that, and I just, I just like the feeling. I mean, even we are, we are, we don't really know each other, but we feel like we're each other's old friends, right? So that is why I, I really like doing this.、Uh, not because you know I'm trying to make money, of course not. I make a one dollar a day. <laughs> so if you wonder, and that's how much I make,、uh, but. It's just because I feel like I'm communicating with you there, so we can share different ideas. And plus, you know, every time when we when I have a topic, it is just from my very own perspective. Perspective,、uh, I want to hear different point of views on the same thing. Then I can learn better too. So being open minded is something that I am trying to. To to do, or I'm trying to improve. Sometimes you don't want to be just like, ah.、Uh, mm. Like I just don't want to be very opinionated, and then especially like just just like I I would agree with my very own opinion, or I would agree with opinions that are alike. I want to hear different opinions, even though that might hurt. So that is something I'm trying to get better. And、uh, well, that brought me to another. Thing or not, not another thing that we were chatting in a group. That if you don't know, ah,、uh, you can head over to Xiao Hong Shu and join the chat. We I sometimes share my thoughts about a book I'm reading, and and it could be just a quote or it could be quote with my thoughts. Ah,、uh, it really depends. And then we come, we 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 came to this topic. I thought that was really interesting. It's the one I don't know if it's a girl. Or boy, I'm so sorry. I I assume you're a girl because most of my audience should be are most of my audience are female. Let me know. Um, uh, we're talking about that we don't know what to do with our life, and I totally understand. It's I. It's not like I always know what I want to do, but I always know 
what I don't want to do. So, oh, when I when I was in university, I never liked English at all. I never liked the language. I thought that was a mistake until I met my、uh, professor who was teaching German that moment. So German is my third language. So I was studying that and.、Uh, I just somehow it hit me, and then I started being like really good at German.、Uh, my so I we're, we're still friends. So my professor said, "Well, have you ever thought about doing German for your master program?" And I'm like, "German is my third language. I cannot do that. I do, I'm not even good at English. My English sucks." And then no, my grades were not good at all back then. So, but I think knowing how to learn another language made me feel like, oh. I do not like English, but it doesn't mean like I don't like the language. It just could be that certain language I don't like. But I'm good at German. Maybe I should do something with that. And I actually thought about this, but apparently <laughs> I did not go that way because then I wouldn't be here doing this.、Um, but I was so、uh, lost. I didn't know what to do. I didn't want to become teacher. That. That was really the last thing I wanted to be in my whole life, and then I thought about、uh, being a translator or interpreter.、Uh, just because back then there was like a trend that a lot of people were talking about how how glamorous an interpreter was and and how much money they made, and I just I just love that、uh, glamour. So I thought I would become like that, and apparently I didn't have the talent for it. Sometimes it's just not only about your effort, right? So,、um, yeah, I was really working hard to be to become a translator and or interpreter at that moment, and I thought I would be a really good one without realizing my English really sucked at that moment, and that didn't happen. Then I worked at a、uh, like the agency for you know applying for other schools, things like that, but that's. Part of kind of related to because I was translating documents, things like that. I was contacting schools.、Uh, back then, my speaking was really, really terrible. That to the point I had to work on that for a while to improve. Which I like that. I like when I do something that will help me、uh, improve me or something like that. I just need to constantly learn, and that will make make me feel like I'm I'm valuable and I'm moving forward. But、uh, I did not want to do it. I thought I would like to do it for for a long time, but then I didn't really like it. And at some point, I thought I found purpose of life, but of course, didn't. And then I did twice, three times of、um, uh, exams for graduate program.、Uh, failed、uh, epically, and I said that in I don't know which episode.、Um, then I felt like my whole life was. Was done, you know. It was just end of the world, and I will give up myself, and then that's it. Because at that moment, I thought doing the master program will be my whole life, and then I found what I wanted, and I failed, and then I really thought about like that was it. But then, you know,、uh, there was a chance that I could come to another country, and I started doing.、Uh, so I applied for another. Master program, <laughs> and I failed, of course, because of my language, and I was really terrible. I started doing a, a yes all class, and back then I didn't really have a good feeling about yes all class. I feel like I was for bad students, but now I feel so happy that I did it. I think it doesn't matter if your language is really good or not. Yes,、uh, all class is not only about language. It's more like you're learning the culture gradually, and that will help you transit into life here,、uh, especially academic life. Not. It sounds like I'm doing commercial for language school, but no.、Uh, that's how I learned about that. And back then, I made a lot of friends from different countries. I started to learn culture. I started to be open-minded to a lot of things, and that's when I felt like I. It is okay if I don't know what I want. I I don't know what I want, but but I know it is important to know what you don't want, right? So what kind of lifestyle you don't want, and what kind of people you don't want to make friends or friends with, and what kind of job work you don't want to do. So, and remember that is not permanent. That is 
part-time temporary. At this moment, that may not be something you want, but it doesn't mean that you have to stick with that forever. So you move on, you grow up, you become more mature, and then you have different thoughts about those things that you didn't like in the past. And then that is okay. It's not like like nobody nobody's forcing you to say, yeah, you have to stick to that. Right? So uh, after that, I was I was more about to learning myself and then I of course I got accepted to a master program and I was so happy because that's all I wanted and I thought I would become a researcher and that and and that was even in my personal statement as I want to be, become a researcher and I believe I'm a good one uh, now which is really funny because I really thought that was something I want but uh, at that moment yes I really wanted to become that but because you know when you started to do it, you experience a lot of difficult times and then you experience a lot of challenges and then there's something that you just feel like you're trying everything to figure out if that's something you want, right? But you may not know at that moment what exactly thing you want, but at that moment, you know, oh, okay, maybe that is not something for me. If that doesn't work for you, keep trying until you find it. Remember, I said I never wanted to become a teacher, but after that, I realized I had the talent to explain things in a simple way, which which a lot of people actually mentioned that to me. And it's just like every time when they say, oh, babe, when you explain that, it's just so, so, so easy to understand. And that really got me to think, maybe I am a good teacher. Maybe I should try that. So I, I started to volunteer and I was trying too hard to get a teaching job and I liked it. And I like when students say something like, I really like you. I think you, you're a good teacher. You explain well, you're patient, things like that. I feel my ability, my talent got acknowledged by other people. And I feel like I have influence on other people and I, I was able to help them. But, but then I realized that after so I, I've been I've been in this industry industry only for like five six years, but then now I'm at the stage of you know, it's like a seven year itch. Uh, I just don't know if I can continue this for another five years. You know what I mean? I can I can I just teach same thing over and over again for another five or ten years? I can't really picture that. But the, the good part is while I was hating my job and I figured out this thing and I really enjoyed chatting with, with, with I don't know, back then I, I was chatting with nobody, <laughs> but I, I liked that. I like to see myself improve. I hated my voice. Now I like my voice. I hated my style. Now I like my style. I hated how I look in camera, but... Now I, I, I'm comfortable with myself. So I see the change. I see the improvement. And then that makes me want to do more because I know there's a potential. There's a room for me to grow uh, better, grow faster. Uh, but then sometimes I feel like, do I really like doing this? Like, what is the purpose? What is the point of doing this? Uh, I don't see that. What if, you know, one time I reached a point that I just, I feel like I can't stop because my English is so good. Uh, I don't need to do this anymore. Would I lose interest doing that? Probably. I probably because I, I don't know, right? So sometimes, sometimes it's hard to tell, but right at those I read at this moment, I really thought I found something I really liked. I even thought about doing this for, for, for like a profession, for a career. But then I started to doubt myself, like I was, a, am I able to do this for my career? Because I don't see the potential. Then I was thinking about my personality that I'm that kind of person that I only do I only can do things that I like. I can't compromise myself. If I do that, then I'll hate myself and then I'll hate this thing. And then eventually I'll just kind of give up. Uh, but I, I don't want that. So far, I really like it. So I want to do I want to do it in the way I like and then continue. But then sometimes I feel like if that's what you want, what is the point of sharing this video with other people? Because you still have to think about if other people like this or not, right? Uh, you're a content creator, you're making content, you're creating content that is valuable, helpful. 
and interesting. If you don't, if this is not valuable, helpful, and interesting, nobody's gonna care about that. And then why are you doing this? So I kept asking, I kept asking myself about those questions a lot. I just trying to figure out the meaning of doing certain things. And it is totally normal that you just at this moment you just don't know. And I feel like it is to. I mean, nothing wrong with not knowing things because we're so young. We're still trying things out. I、uh, even I, this is another thing I learned here is、uh, I see some senior seniors, old people here that they are they're sixty, seventy, eighty. They're still taking courses. They're doing arts. They're learning sports. They're learning mu- music, and they're going outside and do hiking things like that. They might be very slow, but they still have the desire for new things, and they're still keep going. I think for us, we we just sometimes gave up too quickly, too early, that we just decided, oh, you know, I lose, I lost interest in this and lost interest in that. I think life is meaningless because I don't know the purpose of doing those such and such. Well, then sometimes I ask myself, have you ever tried that? Is there anything that you want to try, but you're afraid of? You you're afraid to try it. Maybe this is time to try challenge yourself. And and then I think this is why I have this channel. Is just I am very shy, introverted, as I mentioned so many times, and you're probably bored of that already.、Uh, I just don't know how to chat with other people. I hate small talk.、Uh, I think it's very useless and.、Uh, I hate socializing. I just, I just don't like. I, I don't know what's the purpose of socializing.、It、makes me anxious, right? So all sorts of things. But I think doing this video is the first start to to make me feel less nervous about those kind of things, so I can move forward. I see progress, and I see. Oh, I don't like them, but I can do it, and then I'll keep continue and then find something I really like. Like say now, I like to just share ideas with you, and then you can chat with me. I like that, but that is not the original purpose I had for this channel. It is the purpose I have right now because I want to. I just feel like talking to a friend without being interrupted. <laughs> that is a good part, right? So you're talking, 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 and no one's actually back talk to you. So, so yeah, um, I may get tired one day. Of doing this, and I may stop, but I don't know. But occasionally, I feel like there's a need to, to, to vent out my feelings, emotions, my ideas, my inspiration, things like that. But it is okay to try everything and see if you like it or not. But, but also understand it is okay to not know、uh, what you want at this moment. I mean, it is very difficult. Part and I remember sh- what she or he said. There is so does that mean that I have to always、uh, figure out what I want in my whole life? And I think yeah, learning is a very lifelong process. That sometimes you just you just can't stop, right? And I I I there's another girl we we're chatting about. Uh, learning language. I said, and I never mentioned this before. The difficult part for adults to learn a language is you can't stop because once you stop, you go backwards. And then she said, "Oh, then that means I'll I'll always have to to learn." It it is. It sounds very frustrating and exhausting, of course. And sometimes I feel the same way. Like I can never stop because if I stop making videos, I could tell my speaking. Is like getting rustier,、um, so it means I I have to keep practicing, right? So, but that's the reality of learning a language as an adult.、Uh, well, if you can't change it, well then then you have to change yourself to to either give up or have what you want. You can't have both. Well, for、uh, for for us, I guess for me, so figure out what you really, which one, weigh weigh your options, right? So you want to stop because you feel tired, and then that means you're gonna lose the chance of being fluent, or you want to be fluent, but then that means you have to constantly put effort and time in it, into it. So which one do you want, right?、Uh, but yeah, it is a lifelong process, and figure out 
figuring out things is also a lifelong process. And <laughs> um, you just have to constantly figure out things, right? What do you want? You can't stop. Once you stop, then you stop improving. It doesn't matter. Uh, you stop thinking about what you want, what you don't want or you stop thinking about how to improve or something like that once you stop thinking once you stop learning and that that is it right and that's the moment you stop being open-minded stop being uh, open to new things or stop having the ability to accept the new things so that is what i learned from those comments or messages and i feel like kind of you know worth chatting about it so anyway, um, I'm not going to do too much. I just, I just really don't know what to talk about today. So I decided to just talk about everything. Hope you like it. Anyway, I'll see you next time. Let me know what you think about lifelong learning process. Mm. Bye. Peace out.